Okay, so I'm back, and what we know, we have eight of our functions are polynomial in nature. So our next question is, if the graph is a polynomial, state whether or not the power of the polynomial is an odd or an even degree. All right, and then I'm going to go deeper. Can you actually determine the degree? And so in this case, what we notice is that there's no turning points, right? And so our number of turning points, let me call them TP, is zero. So this means our n is equal to 1. So we're basically talking about a line. This is degree 1. And we got that. All right, so we can definitely do that for that one. Same thing with this next one. For the same reason that there's no turning points, uh, we know this is a line. So we're talking about a degree 1 polynomial, right? So uh, we're good to go, right? So this is some y equals mx plus b. And this is also some y equals mx plus b. So it's definitely polynomial in nature of degree 1. All right, the next one from our previous studies, we know that this is definitely a quadratic function. right? So this basically means that we are degree 2. In terms of our turning points, right? our tp is supposed to be at least 1 uh, less than that. And so we can see that there is one turning point, right? Where we transition from increasing to de decreasing. Excuse me. Where we could transition from decreasing to increasing. So everything fits there. And we also know that this is some ax squared plus bx plus c. So we know it's a degree 2 polynomial. So, um, so whether or not the power of the polynomial is odd or even, and can you determine the degree? We've got it. All right, so we did both. Uh, it's obviously an even degree, and it's two. Uh, going to the next one, uh, what we have here, we know it's a polynomial, and in general, it's on the way up. All right, so it behaves like a line would. So we ha we have an odd polynomial here. I can see that there's one, two turning points, right? So my TPs are two, which means that N has to be at least three. All right, so this is a degree three, polynomial, right? And so that would be something like ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So that's what basically fits that graph. It's a cubic function, basically. Uh, on the next one, uh, the end behavior is the same. They're both going to negative infinity. So that alone tells me that we are an even degree polynomial. I see one, two, three turning points. So my tp, if you would, is equal to three. So that means my n at the most has to be 4. So this is a degree 4 polynomial, right? So that means that y is some ax to the fourth plus some bx cubed plus some cx squared plus some dx plus f. Um, I just realized, too, I'm using a, b's, and c's. We could have used, right, a sub 4, a sub 3, a sub 2, a sub 1, a sub 0. So sorry, I got a little lazy there, um, you know, just because we, we have we have a limited number of uh, coefficients. So maybe I should have been consistent, but hopefully you guys are okay. Uh, the next one, definitely quadratic, right? It's pointing downwards. The end behavior is the same in both directions, so we know we're even. And our previous studies tell us that this is degree 2. So this is some ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay, um, here this graph, the end behavior is different. We're generally on our way down. So this is telling us that we're on an odd degree. And I see one, two, three, four turning points. So that means my n is 5. All right, so we have, let me go ahead and borrow our thing. So f of x is some a5x to the fifth plus some a4x to the fourth plus some a3x cubed plus some a2x squared, plus a1x, plus a0. So a very complicated function there. We're at least degree 5. And then last but not least, right, uh, here the end behavior is unbounded, and it's going to infinity in both directions. So that's a classic case of an even function. It's kind of hard to see. I only see 1, right? But I do see I go 1, 2, and 3 in terms of concavity changes. So that's why I kind of also think in terms of, right, we're pointing upwards, downwards, and upwards. So 1, 2, 3 concavity changes. Those are also another way of uh, defining a turning point. So this is 3. So this tells us that n is 4. So this is some a4x to the fourth, a3x cubed, plus a2x squared, a1x, plus a0. 
All right, and so that's kind of hopefully brings that theory together about turning points, concavity, end behavior, um, all that kind of giving us a clue as to whether our degree is uh, even or odd, and then we can actually pretty much predict what the degree is by looking at turning points as well. All right, uh, the last thing they want us to do is if the graph is a polynomial, state whether the leading coefficient or po is positive or negative. And again, think in terms of lines and parabolas. For a line, if we're generally on our way increasing, this means that our leading coefficient is positive, right? Uh, here, since the general uh, uh, thing is decreasing, this means that our m, our leading coefficient, is negative. Here, since our parabola is opening upwards, this means our leading coefficient is positive. Here, since the parabola is opening downwards, this means that our lead coefficient is negative. So I'm just basically using what we've learned in the previous chapter in chapter four about increasing and decreasing lines, slope being positive, slope being negative. That's basically our lead coefficient. Or quadratics, our lead coefficient told us a lot about whether we're opening up or whether we're opening down. And basically we can mimic that for anything else. So here's a degree three. We see that in general it's on its way up, so it behaves like a line that has a positive coefficient, right? So the lead coefficient has to be positive there. Here we have a, a degree four polynomial that essentially is behaving like a quadratic opening downwards. So my A would have to be less than zero. Um, over here we have a polynomial of degree four. It's generally behaving like a polynomial going upwards. So my A sub four would have to be positive, right? My lead coefficient. And then last but not least, we have a degree five polynomial. It's generally on its way down, right? Infinity and negative infinity. So that tells us that our lead coefficient, I'll call it a sub five, has to be negative because it's like a negative sloping line in general. So hopefully uh, there's some payoff by remembering what uh, increasing and decreasing meant for lines. We can kind of see that action in odd degree polynomials. And then we can see that action for parabolas opening upwards or downwards in higher degree even values. All right, and hopefully that kind of put into practice all this theory that we did right in that last uh, uh, video where we kind of talked about in behavior, we talked about turning points, smooth and continuous. So hopefully we saw that in action. And obviously, right, rather than be gi being given the graph, we're actually going to have to create some graphs, and we'll, we'll build up to that eventually. But at least we have, at this point, hopefully a good idea of when I'm looking at a function graph, I can tell you, right, that yes, that's a polynomial. Yes, that's an odd degree or an even degree. We can even predict to some accuracy what the degree will be, and then we can anticipate what the lead coefficient is. And that's pretty powerful stuff as you will see as we move further and further in Chapter 5. All right, so building on to newer things in the next video, see you then.